Okay, let's tackle this basic algebra word problem. And what we have here is what? Well, this is a rectangle. And we're uh, told that the perimeter is equal to 60 inches. So we got to know what that word means, perimeter. Of course, I'm going to explain that here in a second. But we want to find the actual measures of the sides. Okay, so we want to know what this measurement is, this measurement is, and this measurement, and this measurement. That is the objective of this problem. Of course, this is all the information that we have. We have a rectangle with these dimensions, x and 5x, and uh, the perimeter being equal to 60 inches. So how do we do this? Well, it's not that difficult. This, again, is going to be basic algebra. But uh, if you think you could solve this, go ahead and pause the video and put uh, your answer, uh, put the dimensions of the actual rectangle. This one will probably take you a couple minutes to do. But go ahead and put those into the comment section and be curious to see how many of you out there can solve this problem. But uh, I'm going to get into this solution here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of uh, mathematics, I can help you uh, pass your course and excel in your course. So if you're having a tough time or if you just want to like have that edge so you can get an A plus, either uh, you know, goal I can help you achieve. Now, if you are uh, planning on taking any exam that has math on it, so I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, uh, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplace, or CLEP exam, uh, teacher certification exam, you get the idea. I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, I have a very comprehensive homeschool math curriculum and program you might want to check out. And if you don't have any math notes because maybe your dog ate your math notes, I get it. I have a small dog. Uh, he's pretty good, actually. But uh, listen, if you don't have any math notes, you need to immediately start taking great math notes. Okay, I've been teaching math for decades. This is the secret. A lot of students just don't appreciate the importance of taking great math notes. But uh, you can use my math notes, all right, in the meantime to study from. So I'm going to leave uh, links to my math notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get into this problem. Again, if you want to go ahead and pause it and uh, solve this thing real quick, put your answers into the comment section. And uh, But let's go ahead and get into this. So we're talking about the uh, perimeter. So we need to know what this word means, okay? Pr probably most of you out there have heard this word. And I would suspect most of you even know what this means. But let's just cover the definition of uh, perimeter. Now, the perimeter can apply to any uh, kind of shape, okay? Especially with like lines like this. So... Uh, you can find the perimeter of things like this, okay? So it's not just like rectangles, it's squares. Um, so anyways, but what is the perimeter? Well, the perimeter is just the sum total, okay? It's the sum of all the uh, sides of your figure. So if I add up this length, uh, plus this, this length of this rectangle, plus this length, plus this length, I go all the way around, I add up all those sides, the total sum, all right, the total sum, of the sides, we'll kind of put it this way, is uh, the perimeter. Okay, so in this particular problem, we know what the perimeter is equal to, and uh, we have uh, some general information here. So the, you, know, you got to now, now that you know what the perimeter is, again, let me see, uh, the perimeter is equal to 60 inches. So can you do this problem? Well, before we show you the uh, actual solution, let's talk about a little bit more about rectangles. Okay, now how do I know this is a rectangle? Well, it's not enough to just say, oh, this looks like a rectangle. There's a couple different ways you would know that this is a rectangle in a math problem. One, you can be told, all right, like given information, hey, there is a rectangle, and here's a situation. Or two, you have to look at the figure, okay, and look at the notation. So sometimes you'll say, given this figure, find the side. So they're kind of just testing your ability. Really what they're testing is your understanding to interpret these things, okay? So this notation right here, this little boxes in the corner, indicate that these are right angles. In other words, they're 90 degree angles. And by definition, this makes this a rectangle. Now, why is that important? Well, this side right here is the same as this side. Okay, so opposite sides are equal in a rectangle. So let me erase all this here. That's important. And if I didn't have this little notation, or if I didn't wasn't told explicitly that this was a rectangle, you know, um, you can get in trouble. Okay, this thing could actually kind of look like this. 
Okay. So don't be fooled by figures. That's a whole nother topic. Um, and in terms of taking test, but this is a rectangle. So that means this side is five X. That means this side over here is also five X. Okay. With a the rectangle, these opposite sides are the same. So this side and this side is X. So, uh, again, the perimeter is the total sum of the sides. We know it's 60. So if I take this side plus this side, plus this side, plus this side, it's equal to 60, and that's enough information to solve this problem, okay? So now, hopefully, I've given you about 75% um, in terms of a hint, okay, or uh, guidance on how to solve this. So uh, a lot of you, hopefully, if the light bulb came on, like, oh, I know what to do. Go ahead and pause the video and knock this out. Not that difficult. All right, but I want to get into the actual solution now. Okay, so again, we know that this side plus this side, plus this side, plus this side is equal to the perimeter, which is 60 uh, inches. So let's go ahead and just uh, create an actual um, equation. Okay, that's what algebra is all about. So we'll take x plus 5x. So that's x plus this 5x plus this x right here. That's x plus this 5x right there. And that's going to be equal to 60. Okay, we know that. We could just uh, drop these units to measure for now. Uh, we'll uh, get back to those later in the problem. And so now we need to know basic algebra. So we have 5x and 5x, that's 10x, 11, 12. So this is 12x is equal to 60. Okay, so again, we have to know how to solve basic equations. So 12x is equal to 60. How do I solve for x? Simply divide both sides of the equation by 12. 60 divided by 12 is 5. That is it. Okay, well, not quite. We're almost there. But uh, five what? Well, we're dealing with inches, so x is equal to five inches. Okay, so if x is equal to five inches. Let's go ahead and uh, talk about that. So this side right here, x is equal to five inches. Now, how do I uh, solve for this five x? Well, all you're going to do, and now that I know that x is in fact five, this is five, and this length over here is 5x, and x is 5. Just substitute, uh, substitute that x with 5. So 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, so that's it. Let me see, did I draw this little figure? Yeah, I did. See, I always uh, do this work in advance. So our final dimensions will be 25 uh, by 5. Okay, so 5 inches, 5 inches, and 25 inches, 25 inches. You can see if we add these up, just to check, 25 and 25 is 50. That's 55, that's 60. That adds up to 60. That is the perimeter. Okay, so if you got this correct, then I must go ahead and reward you with a nice happy face with a good old 1984 flat top haircut. That was an awesome haircut. Uh, I wish I could still wear that hair. I don't see flat tops around it anymore, but they were very popular back in the 80s. Uh, my hair is not as what, what it used to be. That's what happens when you get older. But anyways, I want to give you a flat top haircut with an A+, plus, a 100%. And I'm going to give you a few stars to make you feel extra special today. Nice job. Okay, so, you know, uh, just, you know, if you got this right, you're able to kind of understand perimeter, build this uh, basic formula and solve it. That shows me you're on the right track, that you have a solid, uh, you know, a great math teacher. Or maybe you've just been watching a lot of my YouTube uh, videos. Not sure. Either way, excellent job. So, if this video helps you out in some small, tiny way, please consider helping me out by smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for over 10 years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced math. I do basic arithmetic. I do calculus. I try to spread it all around. Uh, but my goal is always to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way way okay so if you like my teaching style i have a huge amount of content on my channel and i'm posting stuff all the time but my best math help will always be within my math help program okay so with that being said i definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures thank you for your time and have a great day